talked to him yeah. on the phone. You did? The kid drilled him from the side. Oh, really? Drove oh. the bike, yeah. pushed the bike from where he was passing to the solid white line on the other side of the road. Is that right? I was amazed he didn't drive. the guy it. still never went down. If he had gone down, he would have died. He could. That was what it was. Cody Eller, we don't know you from Adam, but we're about to break it down for you right now. Mr. Eller, when I was about eight years old, my father caught me throwing snowballs at a car, beat my fucking ass so bad I couldn't walk. Now apparently that never happened to you. Because you're selfish, socially unacceptable, morally unacceptable, and apparently criminal actions have not only taken the riding season away from this young man, but, you know, you, you've ruined him for life. Come on, Chris. Good, Mr. Gannon. Good to see you again, brother. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you know, what's, you know what time it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike. How are you doing? <laughs> Hey, You're the one that started it. John Barash. No. no. <laughs> he did. <laughs> well, <laughs> he did. Well, how you doing? Hey, like Steve. He sent me That's a nasty email at 2.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm up on his bike to three cars yeah. in line, separated. Yeah. He went to pass the first car. He passed the first car, got back in line again. Yeah. Drove up a bit to the second car. When he went to go past the second car, is when that was the kid Cody's said, car. Yeah. And he you drove his car that. into the bike and actually caught his leg is what he hit. Yeah. And then drove the bike to the so, white line on the opposite side of the road. So there was a witness in front and back and it's kinda hard to miss the whole thing at that point. So. Right. Right. Gotcha. I'm eighteen and you ain't passing me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah he goes the first thing he said when he got it, he goes, What why'd you do it? He goes so you, no he goes first he said you shouldn't be passing people, is what he told Bill Hawksley with the <laughs> witnesses there. Then the cop came and asked him, why did you do it? I wasn't going to let him pass me. Was he in a safe zone? I mean, was he in a he, he was, he, was I was legal? told he was in a legal zone. Legal zone. That's legal. what the officer yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, the the officer said he was in a good <laughs> spot. <laughs> right. But, uh, but you know, the trusting officer said that he was in a legal <laughs> And uh, truth be told, though, even if he wasn't, even if he wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're the judge and prosecutor. Yeah, you're judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Coming back from a fight, yeah. probably had a snoop full. Yeah, see, that's the thing I want to check. Whose vehicle was he in? His or Daddy's? Yeah. Well, he's from Wyndham. You know. No, Daddy's. Well, see, I want to know, did they test him for drugs? You know? Oh, yeah. That's what I want to know. I don't think there was even an, an impairment issue there. I think they just, as soon as he admitted to running him off the road, they just locked him up. So. True, but if he did it... And he was impaired, all right? My argument is, and I put it in my amicus oh, if he did it and he was impaired... We're not, we're, not, we're not displeased with the cops' reaction. The cops did the right thing. Oh, right, no, no, I'm just saying that if he was impaired and he did it himself, I mean, it could take away, if the kid goes later on to try to bring in an insanity defense or oh, some okay, kind of right. mental, de mental defect defense, then if he was impaired, kind of cuts that off at the, at the, at the knee, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. Well, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah, by the way, there is a, I told this gentleman here, there is a continuance. Uh, so his lawyer will probably... Um, the guy at the door, uh, Mr. Les Brons, um R.J. Les Brons, court yeah, officer of security. Yes. Uh, he, I believe he's the person earlier who stated that I wouldn't be able to run video in the courtroom, okay? And I explained, no, I run video in Judge Lynn's courtroom, and he's on the Supreme Court now. And I do it all the time. I've covered murder trials in Boston. So I had to file a motion. We just want to make clear, he had absolutely no right to stop us at the no, gate. No, he it's didn't. It's a public forum. We could have gone in there if we wanted just to see the court proceedings work. Is that correct? That's correct. And he gave us a major hassle. I was the first in the door, and he said, what are you doing back here? And I said, well, I came to check on the case. Right. And then we got into this bit about, well, it's been continued. I said, has it been granted yet? Oh, no, it's under consideration. I said, so it hasn't been continued yet. Now, which is it? Right. And right. so the guy was just being really difficult. So nothing more than a pissing contest. Yeah, right. that's what it is, yeah. Mm. Double talking. Yeah, and Which trying to keep he, us out. Which, Judicial job he has absolutely no right to do. Right, exactly. None. None, so he will be reported. He's not a clerk of courts. Now, he's not a judge. Now, what do we do about the assault he, uh, he, that he did in front of uh, everybody? We weren't, we weren't breaking we, any laws we, or causing any problems. How do we go about problem. with that? Was that a fine line there, right there? No, you could go down to the police department and file an assault charge. Yeah, I didn't see it, unfortunately, but I, I, I had my back turned. I did. I did. I spoke right up when it happened. What, I did. He, what, did he touch it? Yeah. yeah. Put his he, hand right on his chest. Really? Yeah, he just... Yeah. Me, when I walked in, I don't know what his issue was. 
Chris. Chris. Yeah. Weren't you the only black guy in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got that right. You know we're in the Hampshire, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good. bike going to top it off. What the? Yeah, hey, I know, right? What? What? So uh, we're at KingCast.net. Apparently, the uh, the probable cause hearing for Cody Eller has been moved to the 14th of June at probably 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, the 14th of June carries a, a significance um, in this area. What is that, folks? That's so Laconia 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 Laconia. Week. Week. <laughs> yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Yeah. Yes. Were you from Chris, Ohio? I uh, grew up in Ohio, born and raised. So I live in Boston now, so I wrote, a, wrote it this Poor morning. Man. Yeah, Poor man. Wrote this morning. Yeah. Another card. Yeah, you guys. So I have an amicus, what's called an amicus brief, a front of the court brief that I filed this morning or attempted to file. Now they're going to try to say that they can't accept it, but I can't find any prohibition in the rules that prohibits a public citizen. He's a former scum sucking lawyer. <laughs> Well, the scum sucking part was when I worked for the state. So you like right? play with words, don't you? <laughs> you know the difference between a fucking skunk and a lawyer at a car is, right? You got the skid marks in front of the skunk, yeah. <laughs> I that. They can ignore it, but I want it in the record because I broke it down when I told these guys I put all the differences between a Ford Fusion and, and a Kawasaki ZX14, the safety features, <laughs> you know, <laughs> eight airbags. You know what's amazing you know? to me is that he got hit so hard it's... to break his leg in 20 places and he used a pin and he didn't go down. He didn't, he didn't, yeah, he didn't drop the bike. Yeah. Is yeah. that right? He did not drop the bike. Yeah, he did you drop the We got his address. You may want to go interview him. I talked to him yeah. on the phone. You did? The kid drilled him from the side. Oh, really? Drove oh. the bike, yeah. pushed the bike from where he was passing to the solid white line on the other side of the road. Yeah. Is that right? That's amazing. He didn't and drop the guy it. still never went down. If he had gone down, he would have died. Could, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that Shit, this kid would have or pushed him off any further. Well, you know, New Hampshire doesn't have attempted homicides. They don't have attempted murder, no, attempted don't. manslaughter. And that's, they don't? See, that's another thing. That's, I mean, second degree no. felony assault. Uh, you're the attorney. You, you can't upgrade the charges. Oh no, 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 no. They can upgrade those. Okay, they that's 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 the whole that's the whole reason for my um, brief for the, is to say, look, you've got to upgrade to first degree from where, where it is because there's no way this guy gets out a uh, second degree. He, he he had men's ray. He knew he was going to strike the guy intentionally. Intentionally, right. we just want to see his plan. license yanked that was at the very, very minimum right now. Yeah, something.